So hi, so today we'll be discussing regarding the numericals in quantum mechanics chapter. There is engineering physics module one. And let me share the PDF share screen only. No, the words. Just put it off. Yeah. So numericals are mostly asked from the first part, especially the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Okay. So delta x dot delta p by h by 4 by this thing. Okay. And there is something called h vector. That is h by 2 pi. That you have to know. Okay. h vector is nothing but h by 2 pi, which is not there in the book. So that's the reason I'm just asking. So we'll be using a lot of those things in the numericals. And h value, Planck's constant, 6.63 to 10 power minus 34. And then one more thing, as you can see here, electron volt is there, right? So how do we convert electron volt to joules? Electron volt to joules, energy, correct? So we'll just multiply by what? 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 to convert electron joules into electron volt into joules. Just multiply 1.6 into 10 power minus 9. This is the major important thing. This one. Okay. Then mass of the electron and all, I think already we know it. 9.1 10 power minus 31. So each and everything explained clearly in the PDFs also of the numerical. So these are the few things which I have to tell you. Then energy is equal to half mv square p square by 2m. Because p is equal to what? Suppose any doubt is there here. Draw triangle. p is equal to mv. p is equal to mv. Correct? So this will become what? m square v square by 2m. So basically I am cancelling it. So this is basically half mv square only. So all of those things, once you do the numerical, it will be much more clearer. So I'll be starting with the numericals first. Let me take the, yeah. So th these are all the previous year questions. Okay, and I'll be sharing you the papers also uh, once this session is being done. Okay, the actual papers, then you'll get a proper idea on how the questions will come. So the papers are taken from the previous year as well as from the model question paper of engineering physics. So first question, an electron has a kinetic energy 500 keV in vacuum, find the group velocity and the de Broglie wavelength. Okay, so rest mass of the electron. Mass of the electron is 9.11 to the power minus 31. Speed of light, we already know. The rest energy of the electron, 511 keV. These are all things will be given in the question. Okay, kinetic energy is 500 keV. Correct. And the rest energy of the electron is what? mc square. That is, mc square is 511 keV. So total energy is nothing but kinetic energy plus potential energy. So this is nothing but my potential energy. So once you do this calculation, you'll be getting 1011. That is just adding the two things. Okay. Then relationship between energy and total energy and momentum. This also we have to know. If you do this problem, so you'll be able to do a lot of questions. That's the reason, first of all, I, I took this problem. Okay. So a lot of formulas are there and it will cover almost everything in this. Only the relationship. So these all things you have to note it down. Okay, not now, I'm just telling you. So E square is equal to PC the whole square plus M naught C square the whole square. Once you do this, PC the whole square. You can do it in calculator. No need to do these things and all. Directly put the values in calculator and you will get it. Okay, and PC we will be getting and C speed of the light and we'll get P also. Again, if you're uh, having any doubt in the calculation, kindly let me know. These all doubts will happen only once you 
start doing it then group velocity formula p c square by e correct yeah so which already we have got it correct p c square so p c is here correct so p c is this value by c i am putting and what is my e you already have got here 1011 kev that only 1011 is here okay fine so suppose if any doubt in this is there this is nothing but can you see here p is equal to what 872.5 right so what is p 872.5 by c that only is put here <coughs> this is square So you'll be getting this simple substitution only. Velocity, the unit is meter per second. Then de Broglie wavelength, lambda is equal to h by p formula. P already we got it. Substitute everything. Correct. And one electron volt to to convert electron volt into joules. As I told you, one point six into ten power minus nineteen. Correct. Yeah. So p is nothing but what this into one point six into ten power minus nineteen by three into ten power eight. So you will get this value. So lambda h by p. Once you do it, done. Okay. So this is the thing. But P C I got the value right. Eight seventy two point eight five ten cube. This one. This only kilo electron volt. This only I'm converting into joules. Kilo meaning multiply by thousand. Kilo meaning multiply by thousand. Okay. So that's it. And again, only once you do it, only you will come to know. So let me take the next question. Before that, I'll ask you. So please use the chat option. Yes, perfect. Again, any doubt is there? Once the class is over, you can ask me the same. Okay. Yeah. Super, and this is only big problem in this. The rest all the numericals are very very short. Then Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Okay, an electron has a speed they are given with accuracy point zero one two percentage. With what accuracy can we locate the electron? Heisenberg uncertainty principle states what? We cannot directly determine the momentum as well as the position of the electron. Correct? Yeah. So here they are telling what accuracy can we locate the electron with minimum accuracy thing? Yeah. Okay. So this they are telling, uh, asking the question. Yeah. So write in all the given data and everything. Speed accuracy point zero one two percent is so by a hundred. Electron mass we know. Planck's constant. So this is the exact same way you have to present in the paper. So it will be very very neat. What is my step one? Compute the uncertainty. Correct. Compute what the uncertainty. So delta v is nothing but what? What is it? Velocity is nothing but zero point. This is speed accuracy. Speed accuracy into speed. Speed accuracy in your speed. If you do, you will be getting it. So this one step directly in calculator you can put. This is basically multiplying the two things. Okay, multiplying these two things. Other than nothing is there. Then delta x to delta p is equal to h by p. So I already told you there is something called h vector. This is my h vector. H vector is h by two pi. In the beginning of the class only I told. H vector is equal to h by two pi. Again, this might not be taught in the college or might not be stressed in the college. Okay, because numeric everyone will be teaching theory, but not numericals. So once you see the h vector, because sometimes in some solution you will see h by two. But what we have already studied, we have studied this. You take any textbook or anything, this h by two won't be there. Okay, will not be there mostly. In uh, the notes which I am giving, also this h by two is not there. That is basically what h vector, because whatever we study is this delta x to delta p greater than h by four pi. This is what we study mostly. So h vector is something but h by two pi. Clear? Okay. And mass. 
സോറി മൊമെന്റം മൊമെന്റം വെച്ച് പറയുമ്പോൾ മാസ് ഇൻ ടു വെലോസിറ്റി സോ ഇഫ് യു സബ്സ്റ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദീസ് വാല്യൂസ് ഹിയർ കറക്റ്റ് ഡെൽറ്റ എക്സ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ എച്ച് വാല്യൂ ഓൾറെഡി വി നോ കറക്റ്റ് യാ ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ടു എം ഡെൽറ്റ ഡെൽറ്റ വി ഓൾസോ വി ഗോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ഇലക്ട്രോൺ മാസ് നയൻ പോയിന്റ് വൺ ഇൻ ടു ടെൻ പവർ മൈനസ് തേർട്ടി വൺ സോ ഇഫ് ഐ സബ്സ്റ്റ്യൂട്ട് എവറി തിങ് ഹിയർ ഐ വി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് വാട്ട് and guys this is the denominator meaning this i am doing it separately down so that is the reason this is put here okay you can do everything in calculator directly you can do everything in calculator okay you just substitute everything and no need to get confused why what i did here you can use your own thing okay and then get the answer and then there is any calculation mixed let me know then once you are getting you will get delta x 10 power minus 6 so 10 power minus 6 i am putting it as micrometer that is only the 1.005 micrometer okay you don't need to convert uh, this into micrometer you can just put meter only here you can just put meter itself let me take the other question third one see in this question let's take electron speed uncertainty is given or delta v in one dimension find the minimum width that is del x i have to find so write on del v correct so previous question yeah it was around percentage given now del v directly they given so heisenberg this is a planck's constant value see it is h vector okay h vector is nothing but what h by 2 reduce planck's constant okay h vector is h by 2 pi already given no h vector is nothing but h by 2 pi so i'll be getting delta x to delta p is greater than h vector by 2 what is h vector again i'm repeating it is h by 2 pi that value is only this so it is easy for you to simplify and do it and delta p is equal to m dot delta w so instead of delta p what i'll put this value then direct calculation only simple substitution that's it and then nothing is there okay so that's the problems